Atibaha County supervisors must soon decide after hearing from the folks who take in stray dogs. Give us more money or get someone else to take them in. WTVA's Rhea Thornton is live in Starkville with a look at the situation that could affect animals in one of the largest local counties. I'm outside of the Octibaha County Humane Society where board members say they are in dire need of some more funding. Otherwise, they may not be able to afford to house and take care of animals from outside of Starkville. We are in a crisis situation. The Octibaha County Humane Society faced many obstacles during the pandemic, but now they face another. <laughs> Normally, the shelter receives funding through grants to help support the shelter's never ending need for money. However, partially because of the pandemic, those funds are no longer available. Board member for the shelter, Michelle Anderson, said their next turn is to the county. We are basically asking the county and the city to help fully fund the Startwell Shelter. Currently, the county gives $35,000 a year, covering less than 10% of the shelter's operating costs. The Humane Society takes in over 2,000 animals a year, and according to Anderson, over half of those in the last four years came from within the county. Without the appropriate funding from the county, she believes the shelter may be forced to stop taking animals in from outside the city limits. It's not that we don't want to provide the services, it's that we just simply can't. We no longer have the funding to be able to do that. Through adoptions and reclaims, the Humane Society collects $55,000 each year and are asking the county to bump their funding up to $185,000. Without that extra cash flow, Anderson worries for the animals without homes in Octibaha. There would be a lot of animals that are suffering, that are just out there suffering and not getting the treatment and the care that they need. Anderson said the Humane Society hopes to meet with the Octibaha County Board of Supervisors soon to come up with an agreement that satisfies both parties. Reporting live in Starkville, Rhea Thornton, WTVA 9 News. Anderson also said in the last 10 years, the shelter transported more than 16,000 cats and dogs across the country in the hopes of helping them find a forever home. That number caught the attention of Time Magazine. A crew went to the shelter today to talk to workers about that program. 